Hello and welcome to another video into our Portena how-to series. This is Sam Dolan from Portena and today I'm going to walk you through how to configure OAuth external authentication using Azure AD. To configure OAuth external authentication, we go to the settings option in Portena and click on authentication. It is currently on internal authentication mechanism. You can simply switch to OAuth and choose the Microsoft OAuth provider. I will also enable automatic user provisioning. This option will auto create the user inside Portainer when the user logs in for the first time. You may also choose which team in Portena you want to auto add a new user when he logs in. You can choose any of the teams that you already have available or you can choose the option of no team uh, which basically means the user might be able to log in but he won't be able to access anything. We have made it extremely easy to configure OAuth in Portena business. You just need to enter three details to configure OAuth for um, Azure AD. These would be tenant ID, um, application ID, and application key. I'll show you how to get those from Azure portal. Here I have the Azure portal open and I'm in the Active Directory menu. My Active Directory um, is Sam's Tech. And uh, to use the OAuth authentication, we need to create a new app registration. Uh, we just need to enter the name. And we'll need to select uh, one of these options based on which users you want to be able to log into Portena. Um, I will choose the um, single tenant option. And um, we just need to enter the URL uh, that you need to return to once the authentication is complete. In my case, that will be https portena.samstech.log. Once that's complete, we click registration. Once that's done, you can see the details. We'll need to now create an application key, uh, which is a secret. So we click the new secret there and give it a description. You may choose the expiry. Uh, I'll just leave the default at one year and click add. We need to copy the secret that's just created. I'll save it in my text pad. So then we'll go back to the registration. Keep in mind that once you move off this screen, that key won't be able to, uh, you won't be able to view that key. We'll go back to the app registration. Here we can see the application ID and tenant ID. First, we'll copy the tenant ID, then paste it into our Portainer. Then we'll copy the client ID, paste it into Portainer client ID, application ID. Then um, we'll copy the application key that we already pasted into here and paste it here. That's all you need to enter. Everything else is taken care of. We'll now click save these settings. Once that's done, you should be able to use OAuth authentication. Before I test the login, I'll show you the currently what users we have in the Portena system. Um, only admin, only the local user admin. And I'll show you the teams that we have. We have admins, devs, and testers. Uh, so, and I also have several endpoints and some endpoint groups. So I have Docker Linux as an endpoint group, which has two endpoints. And similarly, Docker Windows, which has one endpoint, and K8, which is another endpoint. So I've also 
enabled access to the teams um, in different um, roles here uh, keep in mind the roles are only available in uh, Portina Business Edition so for the Docker Linux I have made admins as an endpoint administrator and developers and testers are both standard users and uh, similarly different kinds of access for k8s and uh, developers are standard users and testers are read only here okay so now that's all set up i'll log out and log in with my oap user azure ad user as expected the user is able to log in but as he is not part of any team and does not have access to any of the endpoints he won't be able to use any resources or manage any endpoints so now we'll go back and give him access to a few things by making him a user part of a team and I will add him to the testers team so simply add um, go. that user is automatically created so that lets us add him to that team there okay so if we log out again back into the Microsoft Azure AD user and he now has access to several endpoints since we added him as a tester he should have a read-only role on the k8s and he would have standard user on the docker linux endpoints i don't have anything in there so you obviously can't see anything now if i can log out back in as admin go to talk only and some of the containers here uh, I'll go to the this one here and I'll change ownership to a team testers okay update ownership now if I log back in Docker only and go into the stack container. This is what I've given him access to, and he is able to see it and manage it. So, to recap, uh, in this video, we've shown you how easy it is to configure OAuth um, and populate the users into teams, and how easy it is to uh, granularly give users access to different resources and endpoints. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to comment and let us know. And thank you for watching. Have a good day.